Hello everyone, this is Laura Larsen organizing and today's video is about getting your place ready for a newborn. Since we had our own newborn only 10 months ago, I remember pretty well how I was back then busy with not just building the nest and getting everything for him, but also out of organizing it. It was incredibly important for me to not only tidy everything and get everything ready for him, but also to have everything super functional. So that when he arrives, we don't have to spend any more time in shopping for things or searching for things, but we can focus our time solely on him. So in today's video, I want to share my, I think it's eight, eight in the end, eight tips, um, what to do before your baby arrives. So you're expecting a child, congratulations. Your life is about to change in the most beautiful way you can imagine. But a person is moving in with you. That also means a lot for your home and the space you live in. And there I want to share my first tip with you and it's you don't have to move. You don't need a bigger home when a baby moves in with you. And we, I had the same thought when as soon as I found out I was pregnant, I was like, oh my God, this place is not big enough. And to kind of calm down, a baby, especially in the first months, doesn't need any more space. What the babies need is you and it's going to be probably all the time on you because all the thing that the baby wants is to be on you and also I guess the only thing that you want is this baby to be on you so you don't need much more space so don't worry about moving or doing anything and as it says it's so moving is not a must if you want to feel free but if you feel like you don't want to move or it's a hassle or you can't move don't stress it's all fine you don't need to move as soon as your new baby moves in with you So second, the baby doesn't need much more space, but probably the stuff that comes with the baby. So the second tip is don't read all the blogs about what you could get for your baby. Get one person that you really trust, maybe a friend or someone else who has experience with newborns and babies or ask your midwife or your doctor or anyone, get a source that you really trust and just follow these stores for what you need for the baby. Just get that, nothing else. Don't read through blogs, don't Google it otherwise. You may need another home or a new room to store all this stuff. We, for example, asked our midwives and she gave us a list and we only got what's on that list. In addition, we got a diaper bin. Everyone told us to not get a diaper bin. That's wrong. Get a diaper bin. So important. So once you got everything on that list that you need, you will realize you need a new organization to store all that stuff. And like every other item that you have in your home, it's super important that also with your baby stuff, you find a designated space where everything belongs, because that will make it so much easier to keep it organized and to keep it simple. So find a drawer where you organize all your baby clothes in there and put them into different boxes to subcategorize them. It will help you to realize how much bodies you have. Do I need to wash the socks again? Just to keep everything in their subcategories will be so much easier to have an overview and to keep your baby's clothes organized. Find a designated spot where you put bottles for your baby, where you put all the passies that you don't search them. I mean, I invented kind of a all over the home passy system that everywhere where I got stuck because our son fell asleep on me, there was a passy close by. But otherwise, keep all the passies in one point. You will always, in an emergency, quickly need one and then you want to know where you have to run to. But also, keep all your towels for the baby in one spot organized, the washcloth, and especially when we talk about the diaper changing station, keep it organized, have a place where you put the oils, where you put the cloths and everything, because as soon as the baby's there, you're gonna need, believe me, both hands to be tight on the baby. And then you don't wanna just like search around and look for things and where things are. So keep that handy and functional and visible. So you have both hands on your baby. And that brings me directly to tip number four, make some furniture rearrangement upfront to store all your baby stuff. So as we talked already about, your baby maybe doesn't need much more space. It for sure will need much more space. It will be on you all the time. But to store all the stuff that we just talked about for your baby, it might be that you need one or two pieces of furniture. So we got a changing unit with drawers where we could store all the clothes for our son. 
and therefore another piece of furniture had to go because our apartment is small and it was totally full. But it was really easy for us to sort out this piece of furniture because as soon as a new priority were about to move in with us, it was pretty easy for us to look around and see like hmm, which of the other furniture that we have is just a lower priority and we had no problems of letting these things go. So tip number four is upfront re-evaluate your space and make space for some furniture that you're gonna need for your baby. And now we're coming to the big things. Tip number four is tidy up before your baby arrives. And I don't know at what moment in your pregnancy or in your baby planning process you're seeing this video, but if you're just a two weeks away from the estimated arrival date of your baby, don't start a tidying festival. You probably have a huge belly and you should rest anyhow, so don't start on huge projects right now. This doesn't just go for organizing, this goes for any other project. Don't start huge projects the closer you get to the time where your baby is supposed to come. As for example, we started to replant our pots just two days before our son came. I mean, he was early, but I told my husband he should gonna finish the pots, replanting the pots tonight. And he said, no, I can do it tomorrow. And then the night our son came. So guess who had to repot the plants in the first week that we came home. So make sure you don't start huge projects or finish them always as soon as you can. Because the great thing about having a baby is that he's gonna dictate a bit of the timing that you have right now. So if you just found out you're pregnant, there's plenty of time till your new baby comes and there's plenty of time to get your home organized. And I can really recommend getting your home organized before your baby comes because it will make this place so much more yours and to surround yourself with your stuff. And then when you're sitting there with your baby in it and you really feel like it's your place and it's organized and it's tidy and it's just surrounded with things that you really love will make it such a more cozy nest for you than before. But also you will realize how much things you can just let go of and you kind of declutter your home so you also make more space for the person that's actually coming. That brings me to the sixth point. Test everything in your home for functionality. So you either have done your tidying festival now and you have everything cleaned up or you are a really tidy person and you think like, oh no, I don't need to tidy, everything's kind of organized. Really take a deep look in your home and see if there are somehow corners which are super quick clutter up or if there's somehow a closet where always things are kind of get quickly messy in and really check these places because somehow the functionality in these places is not working and you always have to like from time to time clean it and it just gets a messy corner and this is something that you don't want to have and don't want to do as soon as the baby's there because you want to have all the focus on your baby and you have so much else in your head than worrying about this closet. So take a look up front at these places, see if there are actually things in it that you can let go of or check if there are things that you can somehow better organize, make it more functional, make it more visible. Because kind of these loopholes somewhere are a magnet for clutter and this is something that you don't want to have after. So look at these spaces before to have your place most functional and well organized for your baby to come. And the last two points that I want to address are not really organizing points. There are somehow also we'll find all these points and like what do I need to do before the baby comes. But still I want to address them here because somehow they have to do with organization. So the seventh point is get your papers ready. If you haven't sorted through your paper, I always would recommend to do that immediately because it's such a great feeling to have all your paper stuff organized, to be on top of your chores and your liabilities and everything you have to do. So paper or organizing paper is just always a great thing, but especially before your baby comes. Make sure you have all the passports, all the birth certificates, everything you need for registering your child. Especially for example in Germany, if you're going on parental leave in your company, you have to do apply for it in the first week after your baby is born. And believe me, you want to do everything else in this first week, then looking for all the documents and the birth certificate. So in whatever country you're living, look look up what you kind of what documents you need what you need to apply for and get all these documents ready what you can and have them already sorted and organized that as soon as the baby's there you just need to hand these things in maybe fill out the date and the gender or whatever um, but have your papers organized up front and the last last but not least tip is pack your clinic bag I mean, this is a tip you find at every baby blog or in every baby podcast, midwife, whatever, it's going to tell you that. But 
it's also about packing and organizing so i thought i'd just scoop it in here have your clinic bag packed i mean just talk again to your person of trust what you need to pack in the clinic bag because you will always find tons of block and whatever with all the things you'd need or don't need at the clinic, but have it organized, have it packed already, because once your water broke or once you wake up and the bed is wet and you're wondering if you peed or the water broke, um, you just grab the bag and head off and don't need to worry about picking anything else or if you have everything. It's just a nice calm feeling and then you're ready. You're ready, sit down, relax, enjoy the last few weeks and actually sit down and watch TV. I'm serious. Watch TV as much as you can because as soon as the baby's there, TV watching is over. Sit down and relax. You're organized for your baby. So I really hope you liked the video and it was something that helped you in the situation you are right now to help you get ready for your newborn. And if you are wondering how to organize with your baby actually being there or with your toddler or how to organize with kids, this is content that is gonna follow soon. And if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, follow my channel, uh, share it with some other people, and until then, happy organizing. <laughs>